so there were quite a number of them. There was uh, this study on consizumab. Consizumab is um, um, it's just part of pathway inhibitor, and it's also um, it's coming out strongly for the management of as a non factor replacement of um, patients with um, hemophilia. And the remarkable thing about it also is that it could be used in patients with both hemophilia A and B. And um, the studies presented also showed that the analyzed bleeding rates in these patients were considerably reduced compared with standard therapy. The other one is um, Fetusera. Fetusera is an RNA interference agent that interferes with the production of antithrombin in the liver. Again, the agent could be used for both hemophilia A and B, and it's also showing remarkable, um, um, remarkable progress in control of bleeds and reducing analyzed bleeding rates in patients with hemophilia A or hemophilia B. So those were some of the highlights of the of the clinical trials, of course, the again there were presentations about the gene therapies in factors eight and then factor um, hemophilia B, uh, factor nine, and um, there was a study of um, nine years follow up, and which has shown significant progress in the um, factor um, eight expression after nine years, and then that of um, hemophilia B, factor nine expression after um, five years. So those were quite some um, remarkable clinical trials in some of the sessions in the ISDH 2024.